I get Miss Piggy in her mind. Oh. Okay, camera one has a two shot, camera two has a one shot. Uh, 20 seconds. Oh, no. Uh, what does camera four have? A shot of camera three. <laughs> 15 seconds. Bigger, bring up the lights. <laughs> 10 seconds. Uh, get the hairdresser out of there. Here we go. Get the chicken bed again. Bye bye. Quiet. Cue the applause. <laughs> This is the BFBS application for the cable franchise serving the London area. The linchpin of our schedule will be hourly news bulletins together with a weekly review. Good afternoon. <laughs> Quality drama will be produced, eminently suitable for family viewing. Think again or else. Or else what? Or else I'll take your knickers down and slap your bloody ass. I think nobody did it before. It's come out. What? The rubber. And what just suddenly it's comes, you know. Yeah. But it was my first attempt. <laughs> slowly stroke it. Oh, slowly and gently. Oh, that's good. How early? Well, that just depends. If I've got through it, um... I will not be on the job again till about half past eight. <laughs> <sighs> what are you looking at? Something familiar, something peculiar, something for everyone, a comedy tonight. Some extremely hard. Oh, that's why his trousers are so tight. <laughs> Master, today I learned a new word and I don't know what it means. It is masturbation. Ah, Glasshopper. Master, explain what it means. First of all, Glasshopper, you must get hold of your plaque. I've got it, Master. Now, you start stroking gently. Oh. That is correct, Glasshopper. Oh. Now, the now, Glasshopper. Oh. Do you feel nice sensations in your body? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, Glasshopper, you must do it much quicker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, swear at me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. No, Glasshopper. Yeah. Do you feel your eyes going dizzy? Oh, oh fucking hell. <laughs> well, stop, because that is what happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> Marge, you just sit back and enjoy it. Oh, not now, dear. I've got a headache. <laughs> Auditions will be held nationwide so that new blood is injected regularly. Hold it, hold it, hold it, sir. Hold it. Uh, you have a very nice singing voice, but we don't think you're right for the part. Uh, shit. <laughs> oh, I meant to say crap, but what the difference does it make anyway? good selection of quality quiz shows will be provided. It's got a very long one. What would you measure in hands? Well, why don't you just piss off? Chicken. <laughs> Wait a second. You ready? Okay. And go! Okay. Uh, uh... Blue, coal, crested, and willow. Sits. <laughs> Minority interests will be catered for, such as fringe theatre. <laughs> this will appear weekly, together with our arts program. Do you want to see something really horrible? <laughs> Two top ones, goat shit. That's from the kid, and that's from the mother. And the hot one, chicken shit. 
the box actually steams up at different times of the day, so it's, it's a performance it's as well. Living, yeah. Unfortunately, the goat that you saw in that excerpt has died. <laughs> Okay, uh, now listen, Fozzie, for the consumer segment, I want a superimposition of cameras number one and three, fading in from the chroma key background as two is dollying in for the truck shot on a wide-angle split screen after the countdown. Right. One number 36. <laughs> Standing in a bus queue. Sitting in the traffic. Letting other people. When the way you go, it's time you broke away. What do you think commercials are getting better? <laughs> okay, guys, I got the food. Oh, oh good. Oh, what's my sandwich? Well, hey, Kermit, I just saw Miss Piggy in the hall. She yeah. needs to talk to you privately. Oh, uh, I'm sure I know what that's all about. Uh, somebody take charge. Oh, oh. Um, uh, Rizzo, take over. <laughs> A rat? Go <laughs> along. Oh, goody. Human interest items will illustrate the mundane problems of everyday life. I want something to happen to me that's never, never happened before. Tell yourself, I want it. Yeah. That's where you get stuck every time. Lazy little shit. <laughs> That's later on this morning at 12 midday, but don't forget, it's time to get up and go with Bell Reed at 12. Oh, what a wally! You've put it in the wrong place. Oh, well, if you don't like where I've got it, why don't you show me where to put it? Place leg over boss, line up fixing holes, screw home tight. <laughs> Do you have a mole on the underside of your right breast? My lord! <laughs> Who is withholding your instrument? I'm just a toddler used to grab your dad's helmet. You said you told me I was using it too much. Wearing it out. A mean bitch. And it all plops out. <laughs> Danny's trousers. Very nice in colour. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, my little schoolboy. Arsels. It's still the same old cop that it's been all along. Muppet oh, movie, no. Miss Porky audition, take 84. Wait, hold it now. Hold on there, please. Hold it. How far? Miss, would you mind, please, hold it. What is it? You wanted to pick, didn't you? I don't think, I don't think we can use you, Miss Porky. I know why. It's because I'm black, isn't it? Stand by and cut the camera too. We do it, Mr. A lively cross-section of sport will be on offer throughout the week. Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I've never really seen Madeline ride outside of practice here, but... Hopefully we're both going to put on a pretty good show and, and it'll be a competitive race. And that's Carl, number 31, is a man who could bring a little bit of a shock. He skied with Tempsey while at practice, especially early today. Oh, but he won't ski well today. We have profit in this business. Alternative programs for the ladies will include cookery. And then for extra appeal, they're rubbed in mouse droppings. <laughs> <laughs>
With the Ronco Digitester, you can now find those finger problems. Dial in the incident time, and there, fault found. The cure is simple and effective. The Ronco Digitester, only $9.95. Available at Woolworths, Boots, Timothy White's, John Lewis, and the little shop around the corner that sells everything from French letters to Brussels sprouts. Okay, everybody, let's get organized now. Oh, I, I think we have a few minutes coming. Five seconds! Yeah! Okay, uh, uh, two, stand by, don't one. panic. Here we go, take care of two. We will only screen the best of American imports. I'd like a ribbon for you if you want me to. You could? Sure. Okay, let's sit down over there. I wonder what it would do to my spunk. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> Children will, of course, have their own lively programs. Hard to play football, football is not hard at all. Bouncing, 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 bouncing is not hard at all. What about these then, Percy? A lovely pair of marrows. They are nice, aren't they? My word, you know. And they're beginning to get ripe. Is that the right size? Yeah, those could be stored away for the winter, or they could be cooked straight away, cooked, served up with a nice cheese sauce, and that'd be delicious. We've gone to great lengths to find quality programs, and to ensure their suitability, they have been submitted to a panel of critics and selected members of the public. Amateurishly crude, lewd and hideous, thoroughly vile and inept, perverse, obnoxious, outrageous, offensive, tasteless, and... Possibly the worst film of the year. Oh, what a load of old cobblers that is. Quite ridiculous. You think so? Of course. More the better, eh? Hmm. Okay, I think that went rather well. Compared with what? <laughs> hey, boss, hmm? there's a guy outside who wants a word with you. He's from the network. Uh, Fuzzy, hmm? take over. I leave you in complete charge. Me? Yes, sir! You are leaving this show in capable pause. I am a take charge bear. <laughs> and finally, in case viewers' attention wanders, there'll be plenty of tit and bombs. Down the quality control Somebody threw a spanner They threw him in the hole There's rumors in the Logan Bay And anger in the town Somebody blew the whistle And the walls came down There's a meeting in the boardroom They're trying to trace the smell There's a leaking in the washroom There's a sneaking personnel Somewhere in the corridor Someone was hurt to sneeze Goodness me, could this be Industrial disease Caretaker was crucified For sleeping in his post Refusing to be pacified It's him that blamed the most Watchdog or rabies The foreman got a police Everyone can stand about industrial disease There's panic on the switchboard Tongues and knots Some come out with sympathy Some come out with support Some blame the management Some the employees Everybody knows it's the industrial disease What can you do? It's up to the solicitor now, isn't it? Parkinson declared, I'm not surprised to see you here. You've got smokers caught from smoking, brewers drip from drinking beer. I don't know how you came to get the Betty Davis ease, but worst of all, young man, you've got a young feel disease. He wrote me a prescription, he said, you are depressed. I'm glad you came to see me to get this off your chest. Come back and see me later. Next patient, please. Send him another victim on industrial disease. That was the last in the present series of BFBS Christmas promotions. Next year you can see... What do you want, a happy ending? <laughs>